Welcome everyone, here is how you add a watermark to photos in your iPhone. So all you do is you open up the photos app. From here, tap on the photo in question. You're then gonna find the edit button. You're then gonna see this little pen icon, tap on this one, and you'll be brought up to the markup page. So keep in mind, any changes you could uh, do here can be reversed, but only by you. So we're gonna add a watermark and only we can remove the watermark, no one else, right? So you're just gonna tap on plus. You're then going to find text. Double tap the text box and add your watermark. So in my case, I'll just type Saunders. You have the option to change the font here, the font size and its positioning. You can also change the color as well. So I'm gonna move the text like so. Maybe I'll make the font like that and everything looks good. So once you're happy, just tap on done and then done again. So if you made a mistake with your markup, you want to change it in the future, just tap on edit, markup, and then you can move the markup you made, okay? If you want to fully revert your changes, just tap on edit and then revert. Now remember when I said no one else can edit this photo, okay? No one can just remove the watermark. I'm gonna prove that. So I have this other iPhone here. I'm going to airdrop the photo. So it's gonna send the same photo, right? So let's give this a couple of seconds. And if it's gonna, it's gonna show up, there we go. So remember those markups I made? If I tap on edit, there is no option to revert. I mean, you can't see it because I'm in the HDR. But this says done in gray. Let me turn up my brightness so you can see that. You see done right here, there is no revert option. Again, if I go into the exact same menu, which is edit, on the original iPhone, there's the revert option. But on the second device, there is no revert option. So if you're concerned that someone else can just remove the watermark you made, there is nothing to worry about. Now, if you watch this far and you still, you know, eh, I'm not happy, then what you can do is open up the app store and you want to download this app called Fonto, like so, this is free. Download this app, okay, and then open it up. From here, you're gonna tap on the camera icon, plain images, use this white one here, and then tap on this, the top, and just make sure you find 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080. From here, tap on the share icon and use. Now we're gonna add our watermark text. So let's say Saunders. You tap on style, you can change stuff like the stroke, the alpha, okay, just how like thick the background is, and the width. And I'll make this purple. I'm gonna position this wild like. And so if you're a bit confused, what on earth are you doing? We'll now tap on the triple lines. Add image, import the image you would like to add. Let's say this one. In fact, I don't want to use this one. Let me use a landscape image. So this one here, wait for the import to finish. Tap on it, size, I'm going to increase the size. Tap on move and tap on these two center buttons. And then zoom all the way in. So if you're wondering what we just did, we now have a template so we can place any photo in and the watermark will always be in the same spot. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tap on the share icon. You're gonna see save project, tap on save project and now the project is saved successfully. We'll tap on share, save image to save to our camera roll. So what we've just done is we've created a project so Let's say I want to add a watermark to 20 photos. The markup way is gonna take a while, right? But with the Fonto app, watch this, okay? I just remove the photo. I wanna do another one. Boom, boom, and I just repeat the same process, okay? Moving to the center, enlarging the photo. We have the watermark here, and I'm doing no work. Literally saving, boom, just like that, right? Now, if you ever reopen the app, okay, just tap on the camera icon, projects, tap on the project, move the old image and add the new one. 
it really is that simple. I've shown both ways and you know by the end you're going to have uh, whichever solution you would like. Markup is easiest if you're doing uh, watermarks every now and then. If you're adding a lot of watermarks then you definitely want to use the second way. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.